Saving the tomato. Tomatoes arrived in Europe during the 16th century, brought there from the New World. Early on, it was thought to be poisonous, as were some of its botanical relatives. Since then, cultivated tomato crops around the world are often stricken with diseases that wild tomatoes seem to be resistant to. Tomato yellow leaf curl virus, TYLCV, for example, is a devastating virus that can wipe out entire crops and poses a great threat to tomato growing worldwide. Could the secret to saving today's cultivated tomatoes be found in its ancient ancestors? Researchers have long been trying to find a way to protect cultivated tomatoes. The virus, TYLCV, is transmitted by whiteflies, but pesticides have proven to be ineffective. They expose consumers to hazardous chemicals. The whitefly quickly develops resistance to them, and it takes only one whitefly with the virus to transmit the disease to the plant. Selective breeding is safer and more effective, but it could take decades of trials and many generations to produce a plant that has both resistance to the virus and has the taste and texture that consumers expect. Two teams were separately trying to solve this problem. One headed by Dr. Elon Levin at the Agricultural Research Organization in Israel, and the other by Dr. Jay Scott from the University of Florida. BARD, the U.S.-Israel Binational Agricultural Research and Development Fund, provided funding for the teams to work together and come to more robust findings. The Florida team discovered a gene which interfered with the replication of the virus in the plant. The ARO team discovered a gene which interferes with the virus's ability to create the proteins that cause the disease. They then were able to breed both genes into a non-resistant cultivar and produce a plant which was highly resistant to the virus. This super-resistant plant demonstrated far greater resistance than a plant with either of the genes alone. This discovery, the fruit of U.S. and Israeli scientists working together, is a big step forward for developers at seed companies who can now utilize these genes in their breeding process. <laughs>